Hello, everyone. My name is Tate Muller. I'm really excited to be joining you today for another uh, episode of Build with Pendo. I am a product marketing manager here at Pendo, which means I use Pendo a lot to help with my job. One of those key ways that I use Pendo is to uh, look at analytics to understand user behavior and then launch guides to help influence that behavior so that it is increasing adoption, increasing engagement, driving acquisition for new features, um, and just communicating in app so that we make sure that you are achieving your goals um, and that we are making sure you are getting the most value out of the platform. So today I wanna show a few examples of what those gu different guides could look like in Pando and how you can actually measure the effectiveness of the guides that you are building. And you'll see here for this demo, this is an example platform. Uh, it's called Acme CRM. And let's say we just launched this new button right here, this add new button, and it's a whole new feature right from the dashboard. To kind of draw attention to this, we created this tooltip. Um, so when you click on new, this is an example guide that you can build in Pendo. Um, so it just introduces the new quick add new. Um, it shows a little GIF here of what that looks like when you click the button itself. So that's great. You know, I announced this new feature, but it's kind of like, who cares unless you can really measure the effectiveness of it and see if it's doing what you want it to do, right? Drive that adoption. So I'm going to go into my dashboard that my team builds. Every time we launch a new product within Pendo, we build a dashboard that's shared throughout the team where we look at performance and engagement. We can look at feedback. But I want to make sure that my launch guide is in this same central place. So it's all in one view. So you first are going to see this widget right here, and that's just showing for people that have viewed this guide, how many have clicked and actually adopted this new feature. And right now it's looking like it's at just over 50%, which is really good, right? Um, and to, to show that impact even further, what, what's even more uh, helpful to look at is this chart over here, which is going to show the actual impact for those that have seen the guide versus those that have not seen. And so on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, uh, adoption more than doubles for people who have seen the guide versus those that haven't. So this tells me, yes, this guide is effective. You know, maybe I would want to dig in deeper of, for those that aren't adopting. You know, why is that? So here's another view to further show that impact and actually dive deeper for those that are not fully adopting. So this is an example of a conversion funnel, which means that I can add different steps uh, for a certain process. So, you know, once they click that button or once they see that guide and then click the button, are they actually getting all the way through that journey that we have now built for them? And this, is, this funnel is showing, you know, before we created this guide, what did adoption look like for that full process that we wanted them to take versus after we launched that guide, what did that funnel uh, conversion look like? And you'll see drop off, is very significant here versus over here, we're seeing almost you know full adoption all the way through. So again, proving that uh, impact of my guide, I can dig deeper into for those that are dropping off, You know, I can actually go and explore this more. But over here, this tells me, yes, this guide is effective. I'm gonna keep going. So another really important use case uh, for guides and analytics within Pendo is um, you're going to build a lot of onboarding processes, right? Just because you show them, hey, this new feature is here, you still need to teach people how to use it, right? So here's an example of an onboarding process. Uh, you can create an opportunity. Maybe you want to start getting right into the work, or you can create an account. Um, so I want to understand, as the creator of this guide, which tour, which of these three tours are people going to the most, you know, after they see this welcome guide, where do they go within my application? Are they actually watching all of the steps within this walkthrough guide? I just want to explore this more. So a great tool in Pendo, it's called a path report. It's within our other analytics reports. And what's great about this is that to analyze a full user journey, you really only need to have that starting point or something you're leading up to. So I'm going to say, OK, starting from this welcome guide that I created, I just want to see where are people going next. So I see the welcome guide here. Interestingly, from this path report, I can see that about 26 percent of people went ahead and jumped right into creating an opportunity. Only about four percent of people wanted to create an account. So maybe that's you know, something I can fully remove. And I really want to hone in on only those two journeys. And this is just creating more noise. Um, and it looks like, again, about 17% took that dashboard tour. Something else I want to call out, it looks like for the, those that chose the dashboard tour, 
majority, almost 100% conversion, all the way through step five of that guide was seen. So that's telling me that one's really effective. Whereas for those that took the opportunity route, it looks like after step two, a lot of people are jumping off. So maybe that tells me step three of this guide or step two is not really in the right place or it's not showing the right thing. It's not getting to people to where they want to go faster. So this really helps me just gauge, you know, is my onboarding guide doing what I want? And of course, you can pull this up in a funnel report as well. But this is a good basis for now. The last thing I want to show when it comes to in using uh, guides to improve the user experience, right, increase engagement, and make sure that your guides are creating more solutions and a better experience versus actually creating more headaches or more frustration. And so I'm going to show one of my favorite secret weapons within Pendo right now, and it is our session replay tool. So I go into the nav here, I go to replay, and this is uh, the replay library right here. And you see right at the top, I'm always going to have suggested replays. So this just means that always what, what session replay is doing is giving you video playback. So certain snippets of users actually using your apps, you can see firsthand, you know, how are they working through a journey? How are they viewing a guide? And what I really like about this is when I'm going to go view playbacks, I can, I can actually filter by a certain product, part of my product. I can search for that, or I can search by frustration. And one of the types of frustration I can search by is over guidance. So as someone who, you know, is responsible for a lot of guides, I want to make sure that, you know, something I just created isn't actually causing more problems. The other thing I really like about the replay library, I can actually filter all of the video playbacks by frustration. So have them come to the top. I see rage clicks and U-turns. And the nice thing too is that it'll show guide count right next to this. So I see right here, you know, there's a user and they had, you know, two, two negative uh, first types of frustration that were indicated. And they also saw 20 different guides here. So sometimes what we'll see in instances like this is if I pull up that replay, um, you know, we have customers that will pull that up and sometimes they'll see, you know, multiple guides are popping up in one page and you, you really want to avoid that. So this is the other tool that helps me stay on top of the guides I'm creating and actually let me visually watch someone viewing the guide and see what they do next. This is an example of how we build with Pendo. Uh, please reach out with questions. Otherwise, uh, have a great rest of your day and thank you for watching.